Okay, so this is probably over 20 years in the making, but let's get ready to set up the Alamo. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. This is Paul Knapp coming to you once again from the Man Cave. And what I have here is a play table set up for a diorama. The diorama is going to be the Alamo in 132nd scale. I've been collecting toy soldiers, plastic toy soldiers, for probably over 30 years now, and I very rarely get the chance to set them up, so I thought, what the heck? I've got no projects going on in the garage. I've been working on this uh, Alamo set for years. Why not break out some type of table and set it up for once and probably never again. So what you're looking at here is a six foot wide by 12 foot long table. These are four by eight sheets of plywood cut down to six foot. Put a trimmer on the other outside. These were actually used for the base of my model railroad trains at Christmas when I set them up, but I pulled out three of them, three out of the four that I have in storage. So this is 12 foot long by six foot wide, and hopefully this will be enough room for the Alamo diorama, hopefully. So follow me along on this journey and uh, let's get started. So originally I was thinking about covering this whole thing with sand putting some type of tarp underneath it. But I think the easiest way and the less expensive way and the <laughs> easiest way for cleanup is just a tan flat bed sheet, actually two, and that'll cover this all up and hopefully look like sand, dirt, as best I can for the... Uh... So as you can see, this is just one sheet up right here. And I got two flat sheets from Walmart in tan and they barely cover this from end to end not much overhang so I guess I probably should have went with a queen size sheet but uh, it'll do now that is a play table 12 feet long by six foot wide I can't believe when I have my trains up at Christmas I actually have a fourth board which would bring it all the way down to the uh, opening of the garage. But uh, so I think I might pour sand on top of this after I get all the uh, figures and everything up just to uh, make it blend, mesh in, but uh, not too bad. I do have some warping in the board here. Um, so I'm gonna get some metal plates and seal those together just so I don't have a big gap. Same with the other side, but it's only that one board and uh, once I do that, we'll start putting up some buildings and see where, uh, where we're going to go from there. All right, so we're about a week into this project of adding on to what I had from the past couple years. Made a few changes after doing some research. I noticed that these log emplacements were only on the north wall. So I took them off the old uh, pieces that I had and I added them to this, glued them on. So those have been moved to there. I purchased a few buildings um, from Hobby Bunker as well as McShawn's Closet, formerly uh, TSSD buildings. So I've added two of those here. And then the rest of this is pretty much homemade. Um, of course, I'm using the one inch pink foam from Home Depot. Got another building that's going in there. But all these walls here, all these ramps that I made are just the pink foam with uh, some joint compound added onto it and uh, some rocks cut in. So I have to finish those. So after doing some research, I learned that there was a gate or a doorway on this side of the Alamo next to the lawn barracks. Um, so I used an old TSSD door that came with one of the buildings and I'm going to use that as my gate. I'm going to make a little gateway there on this side. And then um, the rest of this is, like I said, 
Just has the primer paint on right now, which is the uh, light tan color. Um, and these I did make. These are the trees that they fell and put on this side. I'm still waiting for one more piece of this Barzo fence, which is going to go there. That is actually from the Barzo uh, Treasure Island, but I thought it looked good for uh, the Palisades wall. So I have two pieces of that, and that'll those are 12 inches each, so that'll be a 24 inch span right there. But again, these trees are just trees from uh, Model Railroad. And I just mounted them to uh, a board with some spackle to hold them in and put some uh, sand in there. So I thought they did the trick and this way I can move them around and not uh, have to worry about putting a bunch of trees down. I just got two boards. so. This front uh, piece here, again, this is a TSSD um, entryway, but the gateway itself, the barracks or the kitchen, I made both of these buildings. Coming around uh, the west side, I guess. These are just TSSD cannon emplacements where I added walls to each side. Now some of these walls are TSSD walls, the destroyed wall. I believe both of these buildings, one is a stable, one is a adobe house, are both TSSD. And again, there's where either the, I want to say it was the hospital or the granary. We'll go there. I'm calling this building the granary because I'm calling these the lawn barracks. Um, I've seen them listed differently in different books, but uh, that's what I'm going to go with once this is finished. And of course we have the chapel, but the front of that chapel is actually a BMC plastic piece where I just added the foam in back to give it some stability. Again, the church is not accurate, of course, so it would be way too big, way too wide. Right now I'm looking at nine feet long and that is not including this entryway here so we're start talking from here all the way down to the far wall is nine feet long and we are looking at about almost six foot wide if we go from end to end i mean the board is six foot wide you can see i don't have that much clearance on either side maybe three four inches so yeah, unfortunately, with all the Mexicans and all the uh, figures that I have, this is going to be day 13 <laughs> because uh, I'm not going to have enough room on the outside of the Alamo to display all the uh, Mexican figures that I have. So it's going to be day 13 after they storm the walls. We're going to have to have uh, this area in the center all filled. So that's where we are after uh, a week of work. I think uh, next objective is finishing uh, spackling and finishing this building here. Hopefully this week the uh, Palisades wall will be in the mail that I ordered and then uh, and I guess we get started on painting all these. That white wash color or light gray color that the Alamo was. All right, I'm gonna kind of walk you around and show you where I am on the stage of this project. Again, it's probably been a week since I made a video. The buildings have all been primed with this yellow tan color that I purchased a while back when I first started this. I put a first coat on the roof of these two buildings. I've started painting some of the brown areas and now we are looking at the north wall again everything's almost halfway done i would say but all the foam pieces are cut i made these two sections and they're both primed so everything's basically in a prime and stage getting ready for paint so i'll show you where i am in a second on that Okay, so this is the direction I decided to take when it came to the adobe walls and the buildings themselves. I'm showing you four stages here. This is just the primer coat 
with the bricks painted and all I did was just took different colors I'm not sure what color the bricks are and that they use for the walls underneath so I just went with some browns different colors of brown shades of browns tans use that for the brickwork underneath then I paint the stucco I guess it is or the whitewash they called it um, with this flat interior and the color is actually called Alamo gray so I know it's the color that's actually used or at least I hope it is now it comes out very white ish grayish really light gray so I tone it down with making it dirty if you will all I'm using is a rust brown um, you know something you would use for models just to uh, tone it down a bit so it's not that bright I probably went it's probably a little too dark I'm not sure how that's showing up but this is definitely I think looks too new <laughs> this may look too old I'm not sure I have to play around with that uh, coat and then finally after it's all dry put a little greenery on the outside just to uh, add something to it and this is what the uh, hopefully the final step will look like and again I'm not sure if they're the correct colors for the Alamo but they're the colors on my Alamo so that's kind of what it's gonna look like all around and uh, hopefully this turns out again one last look at the Alamo before I move any further on the painting project I think I covered this in the front the uh, these are finished now probably add a little greenery into those look like fresh cut trees but they're pretty much finished I did get the uh, Barza wall in I made a little platform here for a cannon the front of this I said earlier is a BMC church and I just put a back to it so these two uh, cannon platforms I made just from foam and wood sticks so I made one a little shorter for the low wall one a little bit higher for the second wall and these two buildings I just made um, just out of uh, foam I made the uh, kitchen building the hospital and then all these walls in the back of the church so so let's get the painting all right so here we are probably a week later since the last video clip that I made I'm not sure what I spoke about on the last one did a lot of work uh, all the buildings are done as far as primed I've finished these walls here on this side I need to complete the ground cover and a little bit of paint up on this and then weather it on this side so basically from the north wall this is all done and part of that side but it is just now becoming a pain in the ass painting all these things um, starting to lose interest actually it's been about three weeks that this has been up and uh, but everything's done as far as pieces are concerned um, all the ramps are done so it, it is this size and this is what it's going to look like this side is totally finished now um, and the gateway this entryway is finished the lunette so it is a Saturday morning, early Saturday morning, and I think today is just going to be a paint everything the Alamo gray color, and then I'll come back again and do the uh, brickwork like I started to do on this. Okay, so here's where I am. I think it's probably been a week and a half since my last video. I have the north wall finished. These are all drying right now. Actually, I just did the... Uh, the uh, gravel on a lot of these you can see that did a lot of uh, small shrubs and bushes and things like that I finished the uh, side lunette I bought a couple extra sandbags and things to put around so and I did a lot of the detailing here on the uh, walls that came down so so I have the north wall finished and the wall I guess would be the south wall north no I guess it'd be the west wall I don't know <laughs> I'm so confused man this thing's 
the thing's a pain in the ass, but I'm probably going to stop here at the main gate and leave this side here unfinished for another time. Um, I'm just getting tired of painting and detailing, and it's been dragging on for weeks, and neighbors want to come over and see the soldier set up, and <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm losing my patience with this thing, so we're going to finish this north wall and this side wall. Get those up in a couple days, and probably this is on the chopping block for tomorrow, Sunday. Um, I'm gonna finish these small uh, walls that are on this side, and then I think I'm gonna call it a day. I'm not gonna not gonna start painting this building, this one, these two, or the church. I think I'm just gonna leave it at that for this year, and then. Uh, yeah, unless I get some energy or really motivated, I think I'm going to call it quits. Okay, so it is the end of the weekend. I spent probably six hours yesterday, Saturday, working on this. Uh, probably another four, five hours today, I think, maybe. So the whole side here is totally complete with uh, black wash finish. I uh, use some dusting on this, as you can see. Even did some growth and some plants on the outside. So this side's totally done, and so is the north wall. It is totally finished. I even put some uh, cannonball strikes in the in the wall. Not sure if they would be black explosives or not, but I put them in there anyway, so I thought it looked good. It'll look better in light, but it's late on Sunday night. Again, I did about four or five hours tonight on this. So, oh, and then I did start, did not get to finish these walls over here. So you can see what they look like, just painted bricks without the black wash on them. So they're not real dirty, they're very bright. I don't like that look. I'd rather them be a little dirty, which I think would be more realistic. But anyway, so this these two quads here are done with the exception of black wash. I'll do that tomorrow. May or may not finish the back of the church or this wall. I don't think I'm going to start these four big ones um, or the kitchen. Depends how much time I have uh, over the next couple days. This front, again, is finished with the exception of black wash. And not sure what I'm going to do to the tops of these buildings. Um, it's too light tan, uh, so I may do a darker brown on all these roofs. But uh, still uh, debating on that. So that's where we are at the end of the weekend. Again, probably a total of 10 hours or so working. It's getting there, but uh, not where I'd hope to be. Okay, everybody, the workbench is empty, which means the project must be finished. Let's take a closer look at this. Okay, so it's been about just over a month since I broke this back out of the attic and started working on it. I did put a tape measure down here, so you can see the exact size of this from the lunette. The front lunette to the very north wall it is well over 10 feet so it is 10 feet long this table is six foot wide so that gives you some idea if anybody knows any 132nd scale alamo that is bigger than this i would love to see pictures of it and see what it looks like now of course this is a combination of store-bought foam pieces as well as homemade stuff that I put together. This lunette comes from TSSD. Uh, you can buy this piece from Mick Sean's Closet on eBay, but it is originally a TSSD lunette. I made this piece, the front entrance. This sidewall is homemade corner angle however the gun ramp again that is another TSSD piece 
And I believe the barricade in the front is another TSSD piece that I purchased. Now I'll try to give you as best close up view of these side walls as I can. This is a destroyed one from TSSD. This TSSD wall is followed by a, another TSSD wall, but I just added the front uh, grassy area. This is a TSSD, I believe. Um, uh, it was a destroyed building. I think they want to call it the stables. So you're looking at the back side. I'll show you on the front side too. This is another uh, destroyed ramp. I put the uh, debris in the front. This is an actual building, TSSD, very similar to the piece that's destroyed. I made this lunette on the front, or on the side, excuse me, with a homemade wall piece. Again, another uh, TSSD wall and destroyed wall piece. And that was a real pain in the butt, painting all those bricks. I'm not sure if it was that color underneath for the Alamo, but I do know the paint that I used was called Alamo Gray, so I'm hoping that is the color of the, the stucco, I guess you would call it. Again, this is another gun ramp from TSSD, however, I did make the corner wall sections. Starting on the north wall, this is a hobby bunker piece, actually one large piece and then these two wall sections, these build up walls or t uh, hobby bunker as well. And that makes up the entire north wall. Starting on this corner, I made this piece here, this section here. It was a destroyed barracks building, I believe is what they called it. And then this piece is another um, hobby bunker piece. Came unpainted. Now this is a gate section. I used the doors from a hobby bunker building and then just made that little gate. I was unaware that there was a little walking gate on this side of the Alamo until I did my research. Again, I believe this is a hobby bunker piece. This is the TSSD long barracks, I believe. And you can correct me if I'm wrong on these. I've, I purchased these things over the years. I just never painted them. Now this is a building I designed and made. I left the roof off of this one. I um, thought we had all the roofs. Uh, on these to have figures on so I thought it'd be cool to just have a destroyed roof section on this one This was the hospital building or the granary. I believe that was the largest one Connected to the hospital building you had a, a wall That connected to the side of the church now. I do know this Church is not to scale. Um, it would have went off the table if it was to scale so you can see how I just made it a rectangle and the facade on the front I'll give you a better angle, but the facade on the front is a BMC plastic wall facade and you can see right here so it came in this bright yellow color I painted it tan and then put some black wash on it turned out pretty good I mean it's a little shiny but uh, not too bad these palisade wall sections are two barzo sections that came with their treasure island I believe I made this platform for a cannon right here these trees were just the felled trees that they put as a barricade in front of the palisades. I just made those with some uh, shrubbery and stuff from Woodland Scenics. And instead of having the trees up, I just uh, chopped them down. Last building is called the kitchen. And it is not connected. It's a separate building from this. And I brought it out. As you can see, just having one door in the front. These two small barricades, I believe, again, are TSSD. Just an inside look at the uh, side here. This would be, I guess, the east wall. The barracks, the long barracks, the granary or hospital. Again, I didn't color the bricks in on all this, on these ones. I kept them all the same color, unlike the uh, walls on the outside, as you can tell. I was getting burnt out, and I wasn't even going to complete this side, actually. And my neighbor came over, and he called me a quitter. He said, you're going to quit now when all you have are four buildings to paint? So 
I finished it. it. Took a lot longer than I thought, but I, I completed this wall. I make myself a diagram for future reference. When I take this thing down, I will have every building numbered. I have all the distances. Like I said, it's a uh, 10 foot long by six foot wide. And I will be following this up with another video um, with hopefully all my figures on it. And if you're wanting to make one of these on your own, this was very, very helpful. Uh, this is what the Alamo would have looked like back in uh, 1836. This book is from George Nelson. You can find this on Amazon, but it was very helpful. It showed the fort throughout the years. So I uh, picked this one up and this is the uh, diagram that I actually used to, uh, to make mine. And these two low walls on this side, um, this was called, I believe, the cattle pens and the horse pens, I believe is what they used them for. One had a higher wall on the one, one had a lower wall, but there were walls, I believe. I've seen in some of my research that uh, they may have been fences, but uh, I went with the wall. I thought that looked a lot better and blended in. Then I made, I actually made these two ramps here for gun ports, so... And uh, you can see from the other side, I just made some uh, debris and whatnot on the other side, stuff the uh, people can stand on, the Texans can stand on, some barricades. So hopefully you guys uh, enjoy this and... Uh, Again, I know a lot of my followers aren't into Plastic Toy Soldiers or the 132nd scale. They're more into the G.I. Joe or Star Wars stuff that I put up. But uh, hopefully you'll stay with me and see the final completion of this once I get some sand on the table and then uh, put all my figures on it. Remember my history, uh, I believe it was 2,000 Mexicans versus 200 or 180 Texans inside the fort so I don't have much room on the outside really to have 2,000 Mexicans so I'm probably gonna have to show the 13th day the last day of the battle them storming over this wall here and probably in and around the fort area so I will have a follow-up video to this one and as always thanks for watching